Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to uh, day 274, Church in the Time of Quarantine. It is December 17th. I forgot the weather report. It's cloudy and cool. Okay, well, uh, on this day in 1903, the Wright brothers uh, finished their first successful powered flight. So this is uh, where you get North Carolina's license plate from, the first in flight, this day, 1903. Uh, 1967, Harold Holt uh, disappeared uh, while swimming. You may ask, who's Harold Holt and why are you bringing that up? Well, at the time, Harold Holt was the uh, Prime Minister of Australia, went out swimming and never came back. So... I don't know if Australia is the first to ever lose a prime minister in a swimming accident. As far as I know, they are. Okay, and then in 1989 on this day, The Simpsons, the, the car, long-running cartoon show, uh, made its premiere uh, on this day. I was thinking about how long The Simpsons has been on. It premiered, and I was younger than Augie. So that's, that's a while. Uh, today, announcements just uh, next um, Christmas Eve, so a week from today. We'll have the walk through communion at 4.30, and uh, before that, probably around 3 o'clock, uh, have a live broadcast of the service, um, and then you can come to walk through communion. So you can watch it and then show up in person. Hopefully that's exciting. Okay, well, trivia for yesterday. We asked uh, to name the German composer born in Bonn uh, in 1770 on December 16th. Uh, famous for such things as Fur Elise, Eroica, Ode to Joy, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Well, I didn't throw that one in because that would have given it away. It was Ludwig van Beethoven, and we had correct answers from Lee Nelson, Steve Jones, Bramwell Richards, and John True. All got that correct. So congratulations to all of you. And uh, so here for today, it is Pope Francis's birthday. He was born on this day in 1936. So the question is, where was he born? If you know that, send, uh, send that answer on in where Pope Francis was born. Uh, you can, you know, the more specific you are, the, the the more your name will be lauded, but you can be, you know, a little bit general. Okay, well that brings us to uh, today's reflection, which comes from uh, Pseudomacarius, who we believe we've had before. It says this, A sick person is not necessarily sick all over. Certain organs may be perfectly healthy. One may be desperately ill and still have good eyesight. While some bodily members may be weak, others are very strong. It is the same way in the spiritual life. One may be healthy in this and that area, but not in another. There is always some imperfection. For this reason, Christians are instructed by their Lord not to be judgmental of others. Regardless of who or what they are, the rule applies. They could be outcasts of society, bad people. But we are to consider everyone the same way. Never judge, despise, and classify another person. Regard everyone as flawless. If someone is crippled, see that person is not crippled. It is an indicator of purity of heart when you can look at a sinner and have mercy, notice a weak person, and feel compassion. Christians will have an attitude that is simply different from secular people. Their minds work another way. They belong to another world. All right. Well, and we'll end with a prayer. And end with a prayer for church musicians and artists because uh, it's been been rough. Uh, for them during this shutdown, because, uh, I don't know, everyone's mad at singing these days. It's supposed to be a super spreader. Okay, well, let's pray for church musicians. O God, whom saints and angels delight to worship in heaven, be ever-present with your servants who seek through art and music to perfect the praises offered by your people on earth, and grant to them even now glimpses of your beauty, and make them worthy at length to behold it unveiled forevermore. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a great day. Talk to you later.